Friends, in an interview, if it is asked that you have three phase motor of 10 kilowatt, now what is the current rating of this motor? To give answer of this question, you will use this formula. And if you use this formula and do the whole calculation, then you will take approx three minutes to find the answer of this. So today through this video, three phase and single phase motor which is there, I will tell you the short trick to find out the current rating of these. That is, you will take just 3 to 5 seconds to find the answer through the short trick which I am going to tell you. So this video is going to be very important for you. So watch this video till the last. Suppose in your interview, this motor of 10 kW of 3 phase, you were asked to find out current rating of this. Remember that if your question is in kW and it is for 3 phase, then there you have to use this formula. Usually you have to use this formula that I equals to power power means your answer will be in watt. Write the rating of motor in watt so you don't have to use different formula. After this, this power here, divide this by root 3. We will multiply root 3 with voltage. After this, we will multiply this by power factor. So by using this formula, you can find the answer of this. So first of all, you have to convert kilowatt into watt. For this, what you have to do, multiply kilowatt by 1000. Here kilo means 1000, so I multiply with 1000 it will be converted into watt. Now whatever answer is there, you have to divide it by root 3. Value of root 3 is 1.732. After this here voltage is asked. Now voltage here, if in the question it is not told that how much is the voltage, then there in place of 3 phase, you have to write 415 volt. After this when motor is running, then in running condition, how much is the power factor you have to write here. If power factor is not told to you in the question, then there 0.8 power factor you have to assume. This is the standard way of doing all the calculation. If incomplete information is given in the question which is asked to you. When you go to solve this, then after solving, answer you will get is 17.39 ampere. I wrote the answer directly. When you calculate it, you will get the same answer. When you do this much calculation, you will take at least 3 minutes because in interview, this type of calculation orally is hard. So in interview to save time, what you can do, this kilowatt here, multiply this with 1.75. When you multiply this by 1.75, then you will get your answer. Like here, if we multiply 1.75 with 10, then here you will get the answer as 1750 and the decimal will be here. It means 17.50 ampere answer you will get. You can check here before we are getting 17.39 and here answer we got is 17.5. It means the answer is approximately same. See, in interview, they will never ask you the accurate value. If you tell the answer which is almost same, then your answer will be considered right. So from today, if current rating of any motor is asked to you and this question is asked for three phase motor and power rating is given in kilowatt, then simply what you have to do, multiply 1.75 with kilowatt you will get the answer. Now I have a small question for you. You have a motor of 13 kilowatt. What is the current rating of this motor? Tell me the answer by commenting in comment box. Now let us move on to horsepower question. Now question has changed here a little bit. Motor in kilowatt is now in horsepower. Whole question is same, but in place of kilowatt, horsepower is there. So now you have to use this formula. By using this formula, when you try to find answer, then how you will do it, look here. According to formula, equation will be like this. 10 horsepower into 746 divided by root 3. Value of root 3 is 1.732. Multiplied by voltage, multiplied by power factor. Now when you solve this, then answer will come as 12.97 ampere. So your motor of 10 horsepower here, current rating of this is 12.97 ampere in three phase condition. We are not talking about single phase. We will understand this later. For now, just learn about the three phase. Now let us come to short trick. So in short trick, what you have to do simply is horsepower which is here, like here it is written, we have motor of 10 horsepower, which is of three phase. So what we will do simply is we will multiply this horsepower with 1.3. I am writing here, we have to multiply horsepower with 1.3. So what we will do, we have 10 HP motor. So we will multiply 10 HP with 1.3. Now we will get the answer as 13 ampere. Here you can see answer we got was 12.97 ampere. So by using this short trick, you can give answer in just 3 to 5 seconds. I have a question for you from horsepower also. You have a motor of 15 HP. What is the current rating of this? 
This is question number two in which it is given a motor of 15 horsepower which runs on three phase power supply. What is the current rating of this you need to tell. Now you are asked current rating for single phase. Then for this what you have to do this formula here you have to use this formula. In the previous formula we need to use root 3 also but for single phase motor you don't have to write root 3 here. So according to this formula first of all we will learn for kilowatt. So here we have a motor of 10 kilowatt so we will multiply this with 1000. After multiplying this we have to divide this by voltage and if it is not told to you what is the voltage of single phase then in this condition you have to assume the value of voltage as 220 volt. So I am writing here 220 volt. After this you have to write power factor. As I told you if power factor is not told to you then there you can assume the value as 0 0.8. When you go to solve this then you will get the answer as 56.8 ampere. It means motor of 10 kilowatt of single phase here current rating of this motor is 56.8 ampere. Now for single phase motor when question is asked in kilowatt how to find answer of this I am telling the short trick of this. Look what you have to do simply is whatever kilowatt value is there multiply this by 5.6. On multiplying kilowatt with 5.6 you will get your answer. Here I am showing you the answer. 10 kilowatt motor is there multiply this by 5.6. When we multiply this by 5.6 then we will get the answer as 56 ampere. You can see here the answer was 56.8 ampere. Now we got the answer as 56 ampere. So you can see we got almost same answer. Now second question here is in horsepower. It means you have a motor of 10 horsepower of single phase. You have to find current rating of this. So we will use the same formula what you have to do multiply 10 by 746 to convert horsepower into watt you need to multiply with 746. So I will multiply these and we will divide this by voltage which is 220 volt and multiply this with power factor. When we solve this we will get the answer as 42.38 ampere. So this is your answer. Now single phase motor which is there if reading of this is given in horsepower then how you will find the current. I am going to tell you short trick of this. See what you have to do simply is horsepower here multiply this horsepower by 4.2. When you will multiply with 4.2 then you will get your answer. I am showing you one calculation here. For 10 HP motor I am doing calculation. So 10 into 4.2 we will get the answer as 42 ampere. So you can see here also we got almost same answer. So now I have two more questions for you. Question number 3 is you have 13 kilowatt motor of single phase find the current rating of this. After this question number 4 is you have a motor of 17 HP what is the current rating of this. Tell me the answer. Tell me the answer of all the 4 questions by commenting in comment box. Now let us learn quickly what was the formula. See first of all let us write for 3 phase motor. If you have a 3 phase motor and power rating is given in kilowatt then simply what you have to do multiply kilowatt with 1.75. When you multiply this you will get your answer. After this if rating is given in horsepower for 3 phase motor then here you have to multiply by 1.3. When you multiply this you will get your answer. Now if you have a motor of single phase then in this condition what you will do kilowatt here multiply this simply by 5.6. On multiplying with 5.6 you will get your answer and for horsepower what you will do multiply by 4.2 then you will get your answer. Friends if you want to learn what all electrical questions like this is asked in interview then click on the right hand side video to watch. Friends I hope you like this video. If you like this video do like share and comment on this video. Thanks for watching this video.